Let's take a closer look at abscesses. Abscesses can appear either anechoic or complex. These are both abscesses. The abscess on the left has more complex fluid here compared to the simple appearing fluid in the abscess on the right. Once you've determined that there is an abscess present, the next step is to get it into the center of your screen, then to get a sense of size. Based on size and complexity, you may choose to pursue incision and drainage or needle aspiration. Smaller, simple collections can be aspirated via needle, instead of large, complex collections like this one would likely need an incision and drainage. Once you have found the largest pocket, you don't need ultrasound to directly guide you necessarily. However, if you choose to use ultrasound, it is not necessary to use a sterile sheath. However, you might consider using a protective barrier for the ultrasound probe from the likely infection that it is about to be exposed to. You can use a glove or an adhesive dressing. Either way, make sure you clean the probe thoroughly afterwards. If you're going to use ultrasound to directly guide you, you would hold the probe with your non-dominant hand, using your well-coordinated hand to handle the very sharp instrument you are about to use. You can also measure how deep the abscess runs. You might consider packing the abscess after incision and drainage for larger abscesses. Here the depth on the ultrasound machine is set at 3 centimeters, so the abscess is probably a little more than 2 centimeters at its deepest point. It also appears to be about one centimeter deep from the surface. Another important consideration of performing an incision and drainage is breaking up potential loculations of fluid. This patient had fibrinous loculations that you can visualize in parts of this ultrasound image. She required these loculations to be freed to have complete drainage of the fluid in her abscess. Nice. Now you know how to use ultrasound to guide incision and drainage of abscesses. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.